frequency, it has to be uh, the same phase, and the state also includes being in the same place, or at least close enough that you can't really tell that it's not in the same place. So, yes, technically, the protons in your body are all the same proton field, and the protons and the people on the other side of the planet are all really the same proton field, but no information is actually transferred one way or the other. The only way that you could trans that uh, you could use these weird little interchanging tricks is if your protons and somebody else's protons were so close that you couldn't tell them apart. So if you really want to be telepathic with somebody, slam into them as hard as you can. <laughs> and, I don't know, hope for the best. Alright. Now this is, this is the big one. Uh, if you've seen The Secret, I'm sorry. Uh, the idea... So you may have heard that, that just consciousness somehow affects quantum mechanics, and you can somehow affect reality using your mind. And, uh, well, no. Again. So, here's the idea. If you do the double slit, and the light can go through both slits, it does, and you get this interference pattern. But if you somehow figure out which slit it goes through, the interference pattern goes away. If you cover up one slit, or if you use a device to figure out where it goes, or whatever. Um, and it's, it's, it bothers the hell out of people, because why should knowing which slit the photon goes through make any damn difference at all? It's called collapsing the wave function, and it's really, really annoying. It, it makes people fight each other because they hell a hell of a lot. So here is uh, Schrodinger, Erwin Schrodinger, one of the great minds of quantum mechanics back in the early days. And he described the thought experiment not to explain the situation, but to show how stupid it is. <laughs> and here it is. You put a cat. <laughs> you put a cat into a perfectly sealed box with some kind of uh, a radio, uh, random quantum mechanical process. If it happens one way, the hammer drops, smashes some poison, kills the hell out of the cat. <laughs> Otherwise, the cat lives. And the idea is, until the box is opened, the cat is in both states. So, there it is. <laughs> until you know which, which slit the photon goes through, it goes through both. It's, it's the same idea, it's, again, if it doesn't make much sense, you need to be about three or four beers deep. <laughs> so, here are some theories to explain it. First and most popular is shut the fuck up. <laughs> We've got the math. We can do the equations. We can get these extremely profound and powerful results. I mean, all of chemistry, all of, of solid state theory, all of the all the really cool, useful stuff that we can turn into technology. We've got that. What's the problem? Here's another theory that actually tries to explain things, and this is the theory that the uh, the psychics are really stoked about. Uh, basically, the observation has something to do with human consciousness and our powerful beings and what have you. There are no actual physicists, no actual sober physicists who believe this. <laughs> uh, and even among those who do, none of them believe that you actually have control over it. So, if you somehow figure out, if you cover up one slit, you're not going to know if the photon's going to hit that or go through the other. You can't control it, you just somehow your observation has an effect. No physicists believe that. So, the basic explanation is small things, like photons and individual atoms or whatever, are in several states at the same time. And they're left in this undetermined, many states form, going through both slits and being alive and dead, until they're measured by some kind of an observer. None of that is really defined. Like, you can, there are a lot of people who have tried to define it, and all the definitions suck, and the people who define it suck. So, this is, this is a terrible theory, but it does make us look really cool. Like, my mind did this thing. But it doesn't really support most of the evidence that we find. So, you can do the double slit experiment with photons, and you can show conclusively that they are a wave and a particle. This is uh, electron diffraction off of a diamond, I think. And if, uh, if the electrons were waves, sorry, if the electrons were particles, this would be nice and smeared out. It would just kind of get dimmer as you go out. But because of its waveness, you end up with these sharp points coming out all over the place. So electrons are waves, too. Uh, even big-ass things like carbon-60, which is really surprising.
surprisingly big. But you can't. We get, um, we get uh, these wave interference effects. So even this whole bloody thing goes through both slits at the same time. So why not people? If you were to get a really big, uh, if you were to get a really big double slitic apparatus and hell of a lot of identical clones and shut them at the thing, most of them would hit the wall and explode. But those that got through would definitely hit here, here, here. Yeah. Wow. All right. So here's the many worlds hypothesis. Everything, the atoms, the people, everything exists in many states at the same time. Mathematically, it cleans up everything. All the weird, nasty problems of like, well, your consciousness is due. No, all of it is just gone. It's beautifully cleans up everything. But it's weird as hell because suddenly you have to consider that there are these other worlds where there are different versions of you doing like weird, gross things. Or even worse, there are versions of you who are substantially more successful than you are. <laughs> So, in one universe, the cat just dies, and it's sad, but there's none of this weird observation crap. In another universe, the cat lives, and, uh, well, it becomes a samurai or something. <laughs> so, yes, everything that can happen does. So, by that, I don't mean, I mean, there's no universe out there where Merlin is kicking ass or something. It's all, anything that follows the laws of physics can happen and does in this some other world. You can't talk to your double, unfortunately. And uh, for very much the same reason, you can't travel to these other worlds. Basically, you ask, what is the probability that the photon goes through the right or left slit? It's 50-50. What's the chance that, given that I'm here, I'm actually over there? Zero. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. And Star Trek was awesome. So, it turns out that as long as the, the worlds you're talking about are very, very, very similar, you can get a little...